God, let me out. I'm trapped. Wow, I really am trapped. There we go. Come on. Come on. <laughs> uh, as you guys can see, I've been uh, breeding these guys in between episodes. Um, and it's, I think it's getting to the point, I haven't actually counted them, so that's something we can do now. It's actually getting to the point where I think we might be able to fill this, uh, fill the rest of the, the cells up. Let's see, we have nine more cells, so we need 18 sheep total. And that kind of looks like 18 sheep. I think we're going to do one more round of breeding, actually. And then, after that, we can actually start filling them up. Let's see if I can get out of here without anybody escaping. Okay, awesome. So, this is probably what we're going to be doing for this episode, just finishing this up. There's still a lot of work that has to be done in terms of... Oh my god, what's going on there? In terms of, um... Dis or... What, what is that called? In terms of uh, collection points. So, I still have to figure out how I'm going to get all all the wool blocks to one place. And that seems like a pretty big challenge now. And I made the mistake of not actually testing that out before, before I started breeding these guys. So now I have to do it with them in there, and that could be, that could be a problem. We'll figure it out, though. So along with that, I kind of wanted to start on uh, the mob spawner, and I've been coming. I've been thinking of a couple places to put it. One is over there, over here by the house, um, and have it, you know, have it be a gravity trap and have water flows um, redirect the items into the house. But. It kind of messes up the whole dynamic, I think, of the wooden houses and um, all this natural feeling. Because I'm think I'm going to make it out of uh, cobblestone, so I'm not sure how that's going to look. But yeah, we'll we'll see. Um, there's also the ravine I was thinking of exploring, but. I don't really want to make it part of this episode, so we might do that during this episode or in between episodes. Alright, I'm going to go gather some materials and I'll turn on the camera again once I've got those. Alright, so I've been having some trouble with the sheep, as you can see over there. Well, you can't see them right now. Um, I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. Um, but in terms of the mob spawner... I think I might forego that until next episode. We're probably going to build it somewhere in this area. Um, but I'm probably going to forego it until next episode, unless I end up doing some sort of template uh, for this episode. But I think I'm going to turn that sort of vacant spot in our house into a tower um, for enchanting, actually. So... Um, I'm going to head over there and show you my plans. Alright, so I'm just going to show you guys what I'm talking about with the sheep. So these guys are alright, um, as you can see. But these guys have done pretty terribly. Um, it definitely didn't work out how I planned, because they're all just falling into the same spots. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to bash down these walls and have them run into these areas and then close it off as they sort of wander out. Um, so I'm probably going to do it off camera since it's not going to be that interesting and you guys already know what I'm doing. So that's what I'm doing with that. Uh, let me head over to the house and show you what I'm doing with uh, my plans with that for this episode real quick. Alright, so... Um, as you guys have probably seen, this place is really empty, and it needs to be filled with something. So I was thinking we could make this into our tower for enchanting, our library and brewery later on, perhaps. So um, you can imagine a tower coming out here, maybe not, not too tall, because I don't want it to overtake... Maybe that would be alright, but I don't really want it to overtake our watchtower. I think our watchtower should be the highest structure 
Um, we'll see how that turns out, though. I'm not sure if that's going to be an actually plausible uh, hope there. So I'm going to go dismantle the roof, sort of, and see what we can do in terms of um, making this into a tower. I think I'm going to close this off and then make a doorway going in, um, sort of an anteroom to the tower. Uh, Alright, I'll start on that and I'll turn on the camera again once I've made some progress. Okay, so this is the door frame that's going to be the partition between our uh, living living quarters and, um, well, let's put this on this side, our living quarters and the tower. I think it looks pretty nice. Um, oh yeah, I'm not going to keep these uh, open like this. I'm going to cover it with glass though, so it's more of an open style. I've got some glass cooking right now. Let's see if I can do that without ugh, without turning off the camera. Making use of our furnaces, hopefully. We don't really need that much. Okay, 25 should be good. Uh, let's try not to waste any here. That's pretty cool. Not sure if I like it with the door with doorway, but yeah, that should be fine. All right. Um, I'm gonna make the door. No, I actually have a door already. Let's see how that looks in there. I believe this will work. That looks all right. I think it sort of looks odd to have this doorway here. But I think we can live with it, and if we think of anything else, um, please let me know. That would be awesome. Alright, so I'm going to start, I'm going to sleep, and then I'm going to start working on the uh, actual tower foundation, and we'll see we'll, what we'll do from there. Let's actually stop these furnaces. Doop, doop, doop. Stop being nearby. Thank you. Uh, okay, so I'm line, trying to line out. This is where the door is. I marked that. And then I'm trying to line out um, the shape of the tower now. So I think it's going to be 6 by 6. So this is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's going to have to go... Oh, wait, was that 6? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, okay, so we don't have to go out. Should end up being like that. I don't have another another uh, axe on me, but that should be alright. Okay, this is generally how it's going to look. Roughly how it's going to look. Um, so let's see, we have the door here, and then... Actually, let me just dig in. Well, I'm gonna get another axe, and I'll dig in this area, and then I'll turn on the camera afterwards. Alright, so you guys can see kind of what I'm doing. Um, this will be the stairway going up here. This block marks the center. And it'll just keep going, spiraling all the way up uh, to as, how as, as far as we want it. So I'm not sure how high we're going to want this thing, but we'll figure it out. We can look at it from back here, sort of, and see how high we're gonna want it. Well, it's not, it's not, it's not quite there yet, but I'm gonna start building it up a little bit so we can actually see what's going to look good. So I'll do that, and I'll turn on the camera again once I've got a couple more levels up here. Okay, so this is how high it is right now. Um, we could look at it from the outside, too, to get a better view. It's definitely going to need to be higher, but I just ran out of wood, so i got to go back to our wood farm and try to figure that out. Oh, let's look at it from this side. Okay, so it's... Yeah, there's... Yeah, I think it looks all right. Um, my plan is to add strips of half slabs as sort of pseudo-windows like in bands, maybe every six or every eight or something like that. 
So we actually probably don't want to build it too much higher than that. Maybe twice as high as it is now, and then plus the little bulb at the top for the room. So, yeah, let's... Okay, so let's plan to do that. I'm going to go grab more wood, and I'll turn on the camera again once that's through with. Alright, so this is the base I made for the tower, and I think it looks kind of janky right now. Um, we have the cobblestone, and then normal stone, and then slabs up there. Um, I think I'm actually going to change these to stone blocks later on, but for now I'm just going to keep it the way it is, because it's not that of that much importance. And I still haven't gotten any wood, so I'll go do that. I got kind of sidetracked with this foundation thing. I'll go do that now, though, and keep on building up the tower. Okay, so this is how it looks so far, and it's getting pretty high, actually. So what I think I'm going to do now is um, maybe build it higher. Yeah, I should probably build it higher before I do anything actually that big, but I was thinking of, of just cutting out the sides now um, and replacing them with half slabs. So I think I'll cut one right here, and uh, we'll see how that looks. Alright, so this is what we've got so far. As you can see, we cleared out the uh, tree farm over there, but the view is pretty awesome, and I think we're actually at the same level as a watchtower, which is, now that I think about it, it's fine with me, but, you know, whatever. Um, so, this is how it looks like from the inside. Every six, I think there's a spacing of six wood planks between these three window spaces. And this is actually going to be the base level for our... Um, wow, that looks really nice. Uh, this is going to be the base level for our um, enchantment tower. Let's go... Oh, this looks pretty sweet, too. I'm going to go um, sleep, and then I'll look at it from the outside so you guys can see what it looks like from the outside. Make your judgments based on that. Uh, so give me a sec. All right, so this is how it looks like from the outside. I think it looks pretty sweet with these indents over here. Um, but let me get a different view of it. I'll go to our watchtower and see how it looks from All right, there. So this is what it looks like from on top of the watchtower. Still looks pretty cool. I'm not sure how it's going to look with the um, the room on top, but we'll just have to see how that's going to work out. Um, I might end up splitting this into two rooms, one on each side. <laughs> that might look really weird, though. I'll sort of have to play with it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go back and see what other progress I can make. Okay, so I just um, started off the platform on the top here and went inside to check how it looked and it looks pretty crazy just because of the lighting. You can see the light coming out where our tiny little slits are and then the light at the bottom there, but that's about it. Um, so I think I'm going to torch this up and then um, put some stairs in here. Uh, let's see how it looks from there. Hopefully it looks alright. I'm going to put one torch every landing here. Okay, and that still looks pretty dark, but should be alright for now. I'll have to think of a way to make this a little bit more open. Maybe windows on the sides or something. But for now I think that looks alright, just so we're not 
spawning any monsters in here. Okay, I'm gonna stick some stairs in here and then I'll turn on the camera again once that's done. Oop, it's not gonna work. Just need one. There we go. Beautiful. Alright. This is our staircase. This is our tower. Uh, I think that's going to do it for this episode, actually. We're going to wrap it up with this, and next episode we will finish this up. So, also we're probably going to finish that, or do some more work on that. That's probably going to take the most work in the next couple episodes. So, as always guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.